Hi, my name is Brittany Davis, and I'm the Outreach and Admissions Director for Paul Simon in Chicago. I just want to welcome you all to our beautiful center. Um, we're taking this opportunity to walk you around and talk to you a little further about the program. And we want to let you know that even though the COVID-19 situation is still developing, that we're still eager and happy to get you all information about our program and hopefully walk you to our center. So thank you. Hola y bienvenidos. Mi nombre es Reina Arroyo. Este, trabajando en el Departamento de Admisiones aquí en Chicago, Paul Simon. Este, um, estamos dando la oportunidad de uh, poder uh, enseñarles y demostrarles cómo trabaja el centro y cómo trabaja el programa y enseñarles un poquito um, qué departamentos tenemos, qué este, hacemos y un poquito del centro. So, síganos con el video y después les damos más información del programa. Hello everybody, welcome to the Paul Simon Chicago Job Corps Center. My name is John Carter and I am an admissions counselor here. And we're standing in front of the Hard Trades building here at the center. Um, on center we have painting, we have uh, carpentry, bricklaying, and material handling and distribution. Buenas tardes mi gente, aquí en el centro de Chicago. Este es mi nombre Francisco Sosa, acá en admisiones del programa de Job Corps. Tenemos varias carreras en construcción como pintor, carpintería, soldadura y también materiales. All right, we are arriving at the Mustang Cafeteria here at the Job Corps Center. Um, three meals a day, all of it free. You can eat indoor when it's cold outside, if it's nice, on a beautiful day like today. We can we have outdoor seating as well. Bienvenidos a nuestra cafetería. Acá podemos tener tres este, comidas de desayuno, lonche y cena. Podemos comer adentro cuando está frío y fuera también cuando se pone el día bonito. Come on. These are the dorms that we offer here at Paul Simon Chicago. We have our north dorm for our young ladies. The west dorm for our military and college students, and the South job dorm for our young men. We also have a gazebo area here where the students can meet after the training today and then during their breaks. Um, aquí tenemos los dormitorios donde los estudiantes duermen durante la noche y se quedan. Allá tenemos este, la parte, la ala norte donde están las muchachas, las jovencitas. En el medio tenemos a los que están militar y que están este, atendiendo clases en el colegio. Y allá tenemos el sur, donde están los muchachos, los jovencitos, están en el área de ellos. Este es el área donde se pueden este, juntar después del entrenamiento del día y jugar un poquito de baloncesto. For fun activities after class hours and training, we have all of the facilities for you guys. We play basketball, we have a weight room, we have a movie room, we have a gaming room for you guys to actually have a good time about building your mind here at Paul Simon Chicago, we're also about building your body. We offer a full weight room to accompany our full gym. Take a look around. We offer bikes, treadmills, everything you need to get in shape while you're here working on your phone. So there are two Job Corps centers located in Illinois, our wonderful Paul Simon Chicago and also the Joliet Job Corps Center. So your information session, so we're going to direct you to the Great Expectations video, which you can find on YouTube. You'll learn all about the Job Corps program, learn about the career pathway benefits, and learn about the Job Corps services and expectations. Job Corps program benefits. So both of our centers offer a residential and non-residential enrollment. So you can live on center or you can commute back and forth. We'll help you with career technical training, a high school diploma or high school equivalency, offer meals and snacks, child care benefits, job placement assistance, work-based learning, apprenticeship and college education opportunities, a clothing allowance, driver's education, recreational activities, English language learner services, as well as a transitional allowance. 
So the Job Corps program offers five service industries. <laughs> the first one being, okay, we'll cut that part. First phase of our program is outreach and admissions. That's where you're at now. This is when you're gonna attend an information session or watch our video and reach out to one of our admissions counselors. Find out all about the Job Corps program and see if it's a good fit for you. You'll also complete an application and career aptitude to see what you're interested in and work with your admissions counselor to select a center that's the best for your career pathways. How do you enroll in Job Corps? You take a virtual tour or watch our video of Paul Simon Chicago Center or the Joliet Center. You want to gather your enrollment information, including your birth certificate, a photo ID, income verification, and among these other things. If you're a minor, you want to make sure that you have your parent or guardian with you at all times working with one of our admissions counselors. The next phase of our program is the career preparation period. While you're in CPP or career preparation period, you will not be in your trade, okay? So this is the first three weeks of the program and you focus on getting acclimated to the center, learning the rules and expectations, and really figuring out exactly what you wanna do for Job Corps, with Job Corps, and how we can help you. Each of our students will take the test of adult basic education, also known as the TAVE test. The TAVE is an assessment for your math and reading levels. Every student is required to take a TAVE test, even if you already have your GED and high school diploma coming into the program. If you test below an eighth grade level, you will be required to take academic classes throughout your enrollment here at Job Corps. Disclosing past mental or physical health issues to your admissions counselor will not disqualify you from the program. We purely want to make sure that we can assist you to the best of our abilities. Every student is required to be seen by a center wellness professional. There will be blood work, a physical, as well as STD testing. This is mandatory for the program or you will be ineligible for job work. Every Job Corps applicant is required to complete a background check prior to enroll, enrolling. You must disclose any open cases or court information to your admissions counselor. Failure to do so, excuse me, fail, failure to do so may disqualify you from our program. Career, a career counselor will be assigned to you upon your arrival on center. Counselors stay with you throughout your entire time here in the program. They assist you with all different types of needs, including your independent living skills, goal setting, monitoring your progress, celebrating successes, and assisting in resources for you and your family. So we do have some zero tolerance policies here at Paul Simon Chicago Job Corps, as well as all Job Corps centers. We do not allow threats of any kind. Sexual assault, drugs, Possession usage of drugs is not allowed at all as well. When you come into the program, you will be drug tested. If you do test positive for any drugs, you will be put in what's called our T program. This will be the first 45 days that you are on center, and we will use that time to help you get clean. You'll be tested again after that time, and if you test dirty again, you will be removed from our program. We do not allow any alcohol here on center. You cannot be arrested for a felony or a violent misdemeanor, no illegal activity, no robbery, extortion, arson, cruelty to animals, or inciting a disturbance. What more do we expect from you here at Job Corps? We expect for you to be accountable for your actions. We expect for you to be committed to our program, to follow our schedules and rules, to complete your work assignments, to share your dorm room with up to three other people, and to keep that area clean to get involved in the community and leadership here on center, and have a positive attitude and be respectful to staff and other students. What's a typical day? So you will be woken up at 6 a.m. We expect for you to keep your room clean and get it clean during that time. We offer breakfast for you, and then you will be in class from 8 to 4 o'clock, whether that is your trade or your academic learning. 
We offer two lunch periods, one of which you will be assigned to in the evening. We do have evening studies and also free time in our rec area. You will earn one paid time off day or PTO for every 30 days you're in job for. Please use your PTO days wisely. This is very important. If you have six consecutive unauthorized absences, you will be separated from our program on the seventh day. If you have 12 unauthorized absences in a six month period, you will be separated from our program on the 13th day. Please make sure that you're speaking with your counselors anytime you are not able to make it here. What about leisure time? So as you saw, we have a lot to offer here at Paul Slime in Chicago, um, but we do a lot of off-center activities as well. We do weekend outings, team sports, video game tournaments, we have student clubs, a computer lab, trips to the movies, just to name a few things that we do here. So you will also work with your instructors for the labor market information, what industries are growing, where are the drop jobs at, how much can I make, what hours will you work? These are great questions to ask that we will assist you with. The next phase of our program is the career development period. This is the longest phase. So the career development period consists of you learning, demonstrating, and training. All of your career training programs are aligned to meet nationally recognized industry standards. You will be enrolled in your high school diploma or equivalency program. You'll also do work-based learning and learn about our college education program. There's opportunities for leadership or leisure time employment, and you prepare for independent living and your job search process. Paul Simon Chicago offers a number of trades, some of which you've seen earlier. These fields fall under construction, finance and business, healthcare, homeland security, and hospitality industry. Here at Paul Simon Chicago, we have bricklaying, carpentry, pharmacy technician, certified nursing assistant, painting, material handling and distribution operations, as well as security and protective services. The Joliet Center, office building construction technology, cement masonry, office administration, certified nursing assistant, pharmacy technician, security and protective services, culinary arts and homeland security. As we mentioned, every student will take the TAVE test. Um, our academic classes consist of math and reading, and the high school equivalency or diploma and tutoring are also available. So it's very important that you get our admissions counselors the copy of your most current transcripts. These will be used to evaluate how many credits you'll start our program with. Our high school diploma program is a computer-based program. Courses are self-paced and students with documented IEPs can receive accommodations. We want to make sure that you get those to your admissions counselor as well. Students with a TAVE grade level average less than 8.0 will be placed in math or reading class. Students may be required to demonstrate improvement in math and reading before starting their high school diploma or equivalency program. Both centers will provide English lear language learner services to meet the unique needs of ELL students. Um, the education and training supervisor or academic manager will oversee and monitor programs and services for our ELL students. The final phase of our program is the career transition period. Career transition focuses on interview skills and training, money management will get you in contact with military recruiters, and you can also work with one of our career transition specialists for up to 12 months after you've completed our program. Our job corp graduate benefits, career and technical training credentials, high school diploma or high school equivalency if applicable, job placement assistance working with our career transition specialists, exposure to work-based learning and college opportunities, performance bonuses and certificates, clothing allowance and leisure time employment, 
permit or, and or driver's license and a transition allowance up to $1,200. And step five is your career. Now it's up to you to set your benchmarks and goals. Your career transition specialist will provide eligible graduates with job leads and different opportunities. So please call 773-890-3100 to get directed to the nearest admission counselor near you. Es un programa educacional y capacitación para jóvenes de entre la edad de 16 años a 24 años de edad. A nuestros jóvenes les asistimos a obtener un high school diploma o un GED si lo necesitan. También capacitamos en obtener una carrera técnica y o de construcción con el fin de mantener un trabajo, un entrenamiento avanzado, colegio y o militar. Los beneficios del programa consiste en la habitación y comida gratis, asistencia en colocación laboral, obtener su licencia de conducir, actividades recreacionales, subsidio de transición al terminar el programa exitosamente. So, si eres un joven de la edad mencionada y eres residente de los Estados Unidos, eres recipiente de DACA o tienes permiso de trabajo para estar, tra trabajar en los Estados Unidos, también puedes calificar para nuestro programa. Para más información y este entrenamiento o orientación del programa, puedes llamarnos al teléfono 773 890-3100 y te podemos dar una información o te podemos dar el número de teléfono del consejero más cercano a tu vecindad.